All right, today I'm going to be going over a Yamaha TTR90. This is a 2004. It's got the electric start. Thankfully, it also has a Kickstarter. Some of the newer ones, they stopped putting that Kickstarter on there. So if your battery is dead, you are not riding until you get that thing charged up. So a couple, one, a couple things I wanted to go over here. We've got a foot brake. As you can tell, this one is all beat up. It's on your right-hand side. Let's get your rod going down to your rear brake panel here. It's got a butterfly nut or a wing nut here that you adjust and you want to make sure that you do have a little bit of free play in there before uh, it engages that brake so that you know that you're not sitting there. Your brakes aren't constantly wearing. It's a drum brake so you've got shoes in the back. Uh, we've got your spark plug on this side here. I prefer the NGK brand and I will get you the specs on which one that is. Dipstick is on your right hand side here and you can see there it holds 800 cm which is about a little over three quarters of a quart so keep that in mind when you're changing oil we've got your electric starter motor down below here protected by a skid plate down below your bike so thankfully they put that on there your uh, starter would constantly be getting destroyed uh, chain adjustment here we've got your axle that runs through here and i'm um, pulling this uh, axle to um, replace this rear tire here which is why i've got this loose um, but then also I'm going to adjust the chain while I'm doing it. So we've got this si this similar setup on the other side. You want to make sure that the line on the top of your eyelet there is uh, matches the same lines on your left-hand side there. So adjust those evenly. Make sure that you've got a little bit of slack on your uh, chain. This right here is too tight. And uh, when you sit on it, right now it's not terrible, but when you sit on it, it will be too tight. So you want to make sure that... Um, that is adjusted properly. We've got your fuel petcock here. We've got on, reserve, and off. So make sure you're paying attention to where that's at. If it's sitting for any amount of time, I like to shut that fuel off. If I'm trailering it, I like to also shut that fuel off. We've got your, your flywheel and your stator on this side here, which would be your left-hand side. We've got your inspection window here. This is how you find top dead center. Pull this plug, pull this plug here. You'll see the marks on your flywheel on this smaller plug here. You turn your crank over um, underneath of this plug here. You've got your choke lever on this side. It's the left-hand side. We've got your gear shifter on the left-hand side as well. Your choke lever should pull out there and stay in one position uh, until your bike is warmed up. Then you can flip that knob back down. It should suck that knob back into position there. So make sure that you're not riding around for long periods of time with your choke on or you will foul spark plugs. We've got your drain plug underneath of your bike here, and it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to show you there with the camera, but we've got a drain plug here, 12 millimeter bolt there. Pull that drain plug, you'll have um, the oil coming out there, so just make sure, be aware of that, make sure you have a uh, drain pan underneath of there. Pull this back panel off here, pull those two screws uh, to get to your battery here that's under this cover. Uh, up front here is your air box. You want to inspect that. That's going to be on your right-hand side. Uh, you do have to pull your uh, radiator shroud. Well, it would be your radiator shroud. You do have to pull your side cover off here to get that completely out of there. Uh, and you do want to do. You do want to service that when you service your bike. Um, another thing here up on your handlebars, we have got a start switch and a uh, kill switch. So we've got your starter button on your left-hand side here. We've got your kill switch or your stop switch on your left-hand side. Ignition switch is right in the middle. Make sure you turn that back to the off position when you're finished riding. That is an overview on the Yamaha TTR90. These bikes are uh, great bikes. They're kind of a good intermediate between the 50, which is really small, and uh, the larger ones are just kind of a great in-between size. They do handle adult, adults fairly well. And um, so they're great for pit bikes, getting around uh, racetrack, campsite, stuff like that. They're just a good mid-size motorcycle. So that is an overview on the Yamaha TTR90. If you've got questions or comments, make sure and leave those below. If the video has been helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video with friends and family that may uh, benefit from it. Thanks for watching.